up, everybody? It's Vince, the hashtag Very Cool Guys. We are live streaming 12 hours today. We're doing how to's. We're doing tool, what are they called again? Tool, tool demonstrations. We're going to be throwing stuff off the roof later on. We're going to be doing tool tours. We're going to have to stop for dinner at some point. We're glad to have you here. We're going to get started, right? Second video of the day, this 12 hour marathon is the difference between cutting this door with a circular saw and a track saw. And quite frankly, Tundra Whisperer is here. What's up, Tundra Whisperer? You know, I grew up in the inner city in a row house. You know, we didn't have a lot of money, went to work for a lot of the, a lot of the tradesmen off my street. The budgets were never high. So what we always did was we would have to make do. Find a straight edge when we had to make a straight cut. Ride a circular saw if we had it to make the cut. But things have changed. Okay, People are telling me that I'm wasting my time, that I need to buy a track saw if we're going to be doing any number of doors. We do a lot of, a lot of laminate floor installation. GM guy's here. What's up, GM guy? And quite frankly, sometimes we have to cut a dozen doors in one night. The, the time waster with that. If we have a door, for instance, and we need to, let's just say we need to remove a half an inch off of that door so that it will close when we install our new laminate floor. But there's, there's a whole process into making this cut now. Now, we know we got to take this half of an inch off, but because of our straight edge, generally it would be a level, okay? And then our sole, we need to measure back so if we were going to use our sidewinder DeWalt, 60 volt, flex volt, the only reason why we have this special guest of a circular saw is because we have a special guest off camera. Let's go straight his track saw on that. But to get it, to get the accurate cut that we need, the half an inch, what we need to do is what's up, Jonathan M. Jonathan M. We need to measure from the edge of our saw curve to the outside of our of our um, shoe okay we got roughly about an inch and a half okay so at that point we will know we want to take a half an inch off of our door then we have a half of an inch to our rip to our uh, our shoe so we would want to make two inches two inches here grab the old festool track for that project says tundra whisper we agree. So then <laughs> we put mark our two inches over here. Then we got to put down our straight edge on the door. Taking a break at work for the moment. It's 106 heat index. Yo, I don't blame you for taking a break. Still have one more unit to get going before okay. leaving. GM guy. God bless you. Then what we'll do is we have to clamp. Now we have to have not only a straight edge of some sort, we're going to use an in inexpensive... We're going to use an inexpensive uh, level because it's already got a bad bubble. And quite frankly, my my straight edge, my my door straight edge is 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 MIA. It's probably on a truck or a job site somewhere. So we were going to use that. That would have actually sped the process up. Do you know where it's at, AJ Schmidt? I have no idea. I'd where like it to is. know. Aficionado, yo Vince. Yo, yo AJ. Fish is yo here. fish. What's up, big fish? So quite frankly, I don't mind. Clamp it down in this bubble because it's already bad. We're clamped down to our mark here. Then we need to clamp down on our mark over here. Do you, do you see how this process could take some time? With all the es clamps and the lining up and especially measuring. Especially if you need to do this 12 times in a night. Okay. Then you need a one key level. Need a brushless one key level. We should be right. What happened? We should be right at the line. King of the Crease is here. Yo, GM guy. That's pretty fun. Yo, where's your uh, best tool? Oh, the only mod on here. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be in there. Okay, you set your saw for the 
the right the right depth. Keep it G, G. We got it. The good part is, is that the mod squad's here yeah. in person. This is trash right away. No, I know, but you got to tell them too. You got to take the line too. Oh, take the line. Guess what? Generally, I, I haven't had a problem with my, my finish plate. What is it? Using the eye. Oh, using the eye. Well, that's not finished plate. You, you do. You, you do. Sometimes. I mean, so, 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 that's so that's but it is a good point on the track sauce. So you have the bird store. So once, once you, once you're in place, Okay. Tundra Whisper is talking about uh, pre-scoring the line. Yeah. Well, you can pre-score or you can tape the line so so that you it do, it doesn't splinter the cut. Okay. So fine. But you're you're it's, it's taking more, more time. So, so yeah. more time. it is more time. What we have here is a scrap door. I mean, we could. This is a great video to show why to buy a track saw. So far. That's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly right. Cause uh, look, look at all this time. Do I have? Yo, this is exactly what you would do on the job site, though. Do I have tape? Yo, go get me the tape. It's right here. You can get <laughs> the people before it realizes that. But I don't know that tape. Painter should probably use that stuff. Five bucks a roll. So yeah, we'll start going through that. Stuff. So then we we would we would possibly tape our our cut line. Yo, Jonathan says King of the Crease. What's up? The tape isn't blue. It won't work. Yeah, <laughs> this GM guy. <laughs> okay. You put your eye protection down. Whoa! You like steady, dude. We made our cut. I gotta tell you. DeWalt Flex Full you know, this, this MDF smells like when you cut it, it smells like body odor. Like it does. Yeah. Like nasty. Doesn't it? That's how it's nasty. made. It smells oh, nasty. Yeah. Black and yellow tape. Okay. Nasty. You're nasty. Yo, I gotta tell you though, that little extra step of the of the masking tape really saved us from, from splittering. But we did get a nice cut. Good lord, look at the floor. Nothing else. Oh, what knife? What knife? The vloggers here. Carlos de la Cruz is here. So we got Tara 3. And we got Yo Jimbo 2. Oh, double knife. Double knife. Well, I have extra people here. I, I you, know, if we get, you know, if we get if we get into something yeah, down here at the can of waterfront, I can always hand the knife off. You know what I mean? Man, is your real estate whisperer here? Is that a solid core door? You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes the zombies. Yes. Uh, yeah, no, it says the wall flex hall track saw. Th this is. A solid core MDF door. This is solid MDF. Robert Anderson crushed the like button. No Carlos. Now, this is the deal. Much less mess with the tracks, all I bet, says Jonathan M. Nah, yeah, I was going to say we could just brush it off in there. I mean, we made a pretty doggone nice cut, right? Yo, look it, who it, it is. It worked out, but we had the measure, we had the clamp. Joe Burkett. What's up, Joe? You guys were supposed to be at my house an hour ago. What's up with this? <laughs> Yo, this is the thing. You can't get off this job. <laughs> because because we're using the old system of how to cut doors. Yo. The vlogger says he's still painting. He's got to go. Come on, vlogger. The vlogger. Got to go. Sharp cut lines. Vlogger. No, it's a pretty good... It's a pretty, that's good that, that saw, yeah, you know, that's that, that city vault max saw did a great job. Of cutting a great, of a nice line. I'll, I'll definitely say that. But so, Fate? Here, here we go. What about, let me ask you a question. What if we needed to. Yo, Fate. What if we needed. King to, of the Crease, everyone smash the like button. What if we needed to make a, a look, let's just say we. Smash. We could illustrate a couple cuts. Let's just say we wanted to take a quarter off this door, right? Right. Okay, we mark here a quarter, and then we mark here a quarter, right? Boom. Now, how much measuring, what do you need to do to prepare your soil, your track, to get 
to get it in place to make the cut. That's it right there. So you just line up that edge. Is that what you're saying? Here's your, here's your one. Yeah, that's it. Now, they say it doesn't move. You can say I'm wiggling it. But just in case your hose hits the line and stuff, I do throw the tracks on the board. I mean, is it okay to, to bring a hose to work? Hose to work. Most, most people prefer the bring. Mary Jo Cerrone. Jonathan M. Is that Red Man? Tuck in shirt now. Send belt later. <laughs> Got the belt, brother. Look like a professional. Jim, no festool, says Carlos. He's, he's got the back. This thing's a beast. Bringing host to work, says Fate. Question mark. Here we go. I knew Red Man would have the track saw, says Jonathan. No festool? No, just the back. I had to stay somewhere. Tight. You can see there's super little chip on that paint. Take some 220 and run down here, and that doubles that right off and cleans that line. That's, That's smooth, nice. man, says Jim Guy. Now, let me ask I you this. I was only kidding about holding this sign. What if? Musgrove. I have a question now. What if what sign? our floor was not level, perfectly level? Zero. And, and, and we didn't want to, to have. Uh, yeah, a, a gap right. at the bottom. What if? What if we needed? Let's just like we measured it out, and, and we needed like I don't know. Let's just say we needed to take a quarter on this end, but we needed to come all the way to like. Don't do that. What I like about this mm -hmm. is the shave, where you can just go tight like this. Yes. You'll see. So let's you, take a look you, at that. You can't do this with a, a regular circle saw. So I'll plane that down to nothing. Okay. And then we'll take, wow, would you have that mark? A quarter of an inch. So we're at a quarter, right? Yo, Vince, is that the Homestead Storm Door? Carlos de la Cruz. It, no. You Lane Musgrove's here. So so we're able to. I had to do it at or my house. Or least, at least Renaissance here is able to. Look at that. The taper. You don't have to worry about the yeah. me measuring. <laughs> Something's wrong with your vacuum, man. That's no, nice. that's a one. That's a one thing. But that's why I did that with the shave off. Is it clean? Is that what that noise is? When it rumbles? Is the no, that one noise? doesn't do the self clean. That's only the CT thirty six. Huh? When you cut an edge, if you're doing a forty five, the Festool does have. Yeah, you really the that. Guard. that. It's well, the white thing, the clear thing was vacuum, more vacuum protection. Oh. The green thing was the splinter. Which just doesn't have either. We must but would you, what would you do? You said that I release. You need a release, right? Yeah, no, that's fine. But I'm saying I, I just put the, the scrap piece up against, so that suction. You saw how it was starting to blow dust, but as soon as I held that, it's just a little trick. Can you there. try that cut with a shop vac hooked up to the Dewalt track saw so instead of the fest, the fest tool vac? Yeah, I want uh, to yeah, see if no. it's the saw that gives you the uh, dust collection. I'll even, I'll even beat that. I used to use the Harbor Freight little R2D2 can, and that's still just as good a dust cleanup as the Festool. The only problem with that is you got to make sure you turn on the vacuum. So sometimes you'll start cutting and you're seeing dust, and you're like, what the heck's going on? Even though we'll go in the hose, but you start noticing dust accumulating, you turn the vacuum on. So they want, they're saying they want to see the cut. To so see the, the Festool like cutting back more. So the best tool you need the dust collection. Yes. The saw. The saw is, is measure once, up. cut twice, eh, guy? So, so the so the saw itself is the wall. 
the, the, the vacuum cleaner, the dust solution is the fest tool. But what yes. we'll do, what we'll do is we'll we'll vacuum this up. Okay. Well, yeah, but you uh, have your Milwaukee and stick it on there. That, well, that's that, that, work. So, what is it that they're asking? Do they want to see the Milwaukee vacuum instead of the fest tool vacuum, or do they want to see the the dust collection solution? I was going to run the Milwaukee vacuum with the the wall. See, no, so Jonathan M asked, can you try that cut with a shop vac hooked up to the yeah. wall track so instead of the festival? All right, let's do that. It'll work. It'll work. I'll tell them already. Because I, I used to use that until I got my festival stuff. So the collection is just because of the salt. So. GM guy says that was a nice door until Vince got a hold of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I got, I got four more of them back there. What, uh, do you want to? Which is a battery back? Yeah. Because this, we have to either, I can take it off this, because this is the power source right now. The vac's going to run. It just won't suck because we don't have the vac codes up to it. Or I can just unplug the vac. Yeah, just unplug the vac straight. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. I was just letting you know they're going to give the festival. I didn't want you to think that we're going to the festival. Tundra Whisper, hey, I'm a new sub, love the channel. I need to go to my shop and finish up some cabinet works. See you on the next one. Get her done, Tundra Whisper. You're going to have to take that though. You don't have the right. I have adapters, but they're not going to fit back. You can just put tape around it. We got a loose hookup. Loose it's connection. it's just it's, it's a tad tight and it, it won't pinch in because this is these are both hard plastic. Okay. Oh, you know, it's a good thing we got we got the masking tape for the saw. Joshua Burgess is here. What's up, Joshua? Okay. So. John H back. This guy is tall, y'all. <laughs> What's up, H back? We need some moisture today. You stand outside for a couple minutes, you'll be really yeah, nice. Yeah, you're out. You're up. <laughs> I'll have to your uh, vacuum for you. Oh, you don't want to run it? Nah, you can run it. For you. amount of dust, filled with the dust. Let's go with the dust. Is it whining? No, Matt, you can still see that it picked up a lot of dust as opposed to not doing it. Jonathan M. Renman, what made you switch to the Fest Tool Vac, the auto on feature? I believe in no, Sasquatch. No, what, what happened was I got the, the Planex, the drywall sander, and to make that work, you have to use their vacuum. So that was just an added bonus to justify spending two grand on a sander and a vacuum. So I use it for my track saw, I use it for my table saw, and I use it for my chop saw. And this way I don't have to turn the vacuum on. This little one, the cyst mini, whatever it is, the cyst, that's uh, something that stays in my truck all the time. So if I have a small drywall patch repair, a cut like this on a door, I don't have to put my big vacuum in the bed of my truck and take up more space. Now that is a nice cordless solution to dust collection. Talking about the Milwaukee vac. Yeah. Well, I agree. Yeah, uh, they have this in batteries. You get a different ball. Really? Yeah. In fact, they just came, they came out with the, uh, what was it, 40? Was it? Here we go. Sound. Yeah, it was it was junk. They discontinued it. This is what I think we should do. Will this dust make good kitty litter? Says Joe Burkett. Yes. Huh. No, you know who yes. would want to know that? John H. Back. Yeah, with CC. My, my question is, at this point. We're going to do, have to do, you know, listen, we don't see the, we don't see the value 
in, in getting the track saw yet. We're like, oh, you know, it's too rich for my blood. You know, my customers don't care. They'd rather save, you know, a couple dollars, even if their doors are a little crooked. Mm. <laughs> what you did is, right? They probably have, you know, a bunch of crooked walls, crooked doors, comes in crooked level, their, whatever. Comes comes in, their house for them, crooked contractors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Red man, thanks for the info. Are the bags in the fest tool reusable? I imagine that no, would get expensive. No. Uh, but not they're they're expensive. expensive. I haven't bought any for this one yet, but for the CT36, they're plastic bags. They're eight bucks a piece. Okay. So, how long do you do? You, how much time do you get out of a bag? A, a, a good amount of use out of. Okay. Um, you know, for I could do a few rooms. You know, multiple in multiple houses and not have to get rid of the bag. They just start to break down. They have filters built in on the side of the plastic, and they just start to get beat up. And I just get rid of them after a while. John H. Rex says CC goes outdoors like a dog. Well, he's got outdoor. <laughs> he's got outdoor cats. He's an outdoor cat. So this is the. I deal. love my Swanson Speed Squares. Cool. So oh, why? Who said that? Robert Anderson. Robert. All right. So this is the deal. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna do same cut, but. You know, we're working at a school, we're working at somebody's house. You know, we don't necessarily have a track saw with a fancy vacuum cleaner, but we do have a cordless solution, a couple of them. Let's see Let's see how the dust collection works. You know, if, if it was just, hey, like my, myself. Oh, Yo, see. Carlos De La Cruz, okay. thanks for the sub count. 5,829, says Carlos De La Cruz. We're getting there. Yo, you want to let them know about the marathon? Listen, we're running 12... 12 hours. Now, this is the thing. If, if by 5 o'clock this afternoon, we're at 7,000 subscribers, okay, when you're sharing out the, the, the links to the channel and to the videos, you know, let people know that even if we hit 7,000 subscribers by 5 o'clock, we're not doing the giveaway until midnight tonight. So they still have the chance to get their entry in to win. Well, what are we giving away? We're giving away $500 worth of tools. Okay, if we do what needs to get done, get the channel 7,000 subscribers by 11.59 tonight, somebody in the very cool gang will be winning this kit. Robert Anderson says awesome. 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 Listen, if you want, I can, put, I, can put the, I can put the tool down here, right? And then I can sweat on the tool and then have the soil dust because they say like, it's man glitter. So I ship this out. <laughs> when they when we ship this have out. Have essence of Vince on it. Yeah, when we ship this out to one of the very cool gang members, it'll be personally, like, you know, what's the word I'm looking um, for? Um, marinated? It'd be tainted by me <laughs> if you want. It's a tainted tool. Man glitter. Man glitter. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is. We're hey, gonna, King, says John H. Rack. We'll right. start our back. We'll start our back. We'll start our back. I mean, that wasn't complicated at all. <laughs> a little you better. How? Right. It's square, though. Impressive. The, square the shirt's squared off, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's pointless. You're still throwing it. Which side was yours? Oh, I don't know. No, it's got to be mine. Uh -oh. Don't you think? Yeah, it's, it's, it's tough doing it with a... The new Milwaukee Cirque saw will come with a port, yeah, says Jonathan M. I know. I'm bummed that the wall dropped the ball on that. Joshua Burgess, subscribed and proud. Exactly. Thanks, Joshua. With what? The uh, port. You know, I mean, it wouldn't be a big thing. Yeah, but there are fence guys in the way. Or the, the Joe Burgess uh, shared. Thanks, Joe. Joe, we need, we need, we need all the support. We need all the help we can get. Share out the channel. Share the links. Tweet it out. 
Send it on, on Instagram. Tell a friend on Facebook. Let a troll on Reddit know about it. I mean, do what you can. Send a text. No, email it. Leave somebody. a comment on another video. Uh oh. I don't know. So. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of why and how using a track saw as opposed to this old system okay, can save you time, which will save you money. Quite frankly, if you're able to get a job done quicker, that means that you're increasing your bottom line and making more money as a tradesperson. And if you like stuff like that, smash the like button already. Okay, if you like our content, like our channel, and love our style, and why wouldn't you? Get subscribed. Make sure you smash the bell notification because we publish videos daily. We go live at least once a day, unless it's a uh, unless it's a marathon Saturday where we live stream for twelve hours. You're going to want to smash the bell notification so you're aware of all the happenings with the very cool guys. The new big thing around here is we do videos based about tool deals, and a lot of times. The tool deals, like this one here, or this M18 fuel miter saw, they were two-day sales, flash sales, all online, okay? Why do you want to be notified? Because we push videos about those tool deals, and a lot of people said they missed the videos, hence they missed the tool deal. Never miss another tool deal again. Make sure the bell notification is allows all notifications. With that. We're going to send Kane and Crease out to his truck to go get his Vito Pro Pack bags because we're going to take a look at them. Matter of fact, we got a perfect platform to set them up on. It's going to be great. We're going to start up another live stream momentarily. Sit there. get a, You got a minute, though. Pop some popcorn. Grab some sodas. Go throw some dogs on the grill. I mean, hot dogs. Don't get too crazy. <laughs> but we're going to be right back. Peace out, everybody. Let me see who's here. Woody style. It's uh, DeWalt. DeWalt tracks all. Joe Burgess share Woody style. Cousin Justin, someone's beard is at 11. Someone's missing a mustache. Federer, just got better. I did the video. Thanks for your time. Robert Anderson, thank you. Carlos, we'll see you on the next one. John H. Rack, peace out. Yo, you want to show them, them, 